Laser sights will make you a more accurate and confident shooter by providing visual feedback on sight alignment and trigger control. Crimson Trace, making laser sight standard equipment. Learn more at crimsontrace.com. The number one national voice in defense of your Second Amendment rights. Gun Talk, available on iTunes and on the free Gun Dealio smartphone app for Android and iPhone. To be on the air with Tom, call us now, 866-825-5486 or 1-TOM-TALK-GUN. Now, here's Tom. All right, welcome back to Gun Talk. I'm Tom Gresham. Our number here, if you'd like to join us, 866-TALK-GUN or just dial TOM-TALK-GUN. That will certainly get you in here we uh of course a lot of things going on we got uh what is it cyber monday black friday going on starting black friday this is this coming friday we're going to start releasing the new episodes of our first person defender series one per day six o'clock on let's see central time 6 p.m central time every day we'll release a new episode we've been shooting those having a bunch of fun you can learn a lot seriously no kidding you really can't learn a lot Watching them. They'll be available, let's see, on our uh, Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV channels, uh, YouTube, or Facebook, the Gun Talk Facebook, and also just go to guntalk.com for all of those. Uh, we're going to bring in right now a friend of ours, uh, Kyle Klaus from Liberty Safe. We'll talk about that. But also, Kyle, you were a victim, i.e., a volunteer on First Person Defender, weren't you? I, I, was, a, I was a volunteer. Uh, at one of the first person defender episodes, great time, great experience, and uh, really uh, kind of eye opening to have that one to one, you know, hand on real life mm-hmm. experience. Did it affect you the way it does a lot of people? Where and I hear people talk about this. They say, yeah, for days or even weeks afterwards, you would go back and replay it in your mind. Oh, absolutely. When you when you uh, release the video footage. Uh, I, I don't know how many times I've watched the uh, the episode that I was in and uh, just, you know, thought about different things that, you know, things that I could have done differently and better. And, uh, and re- you know, really I, I, going into it, you think that you're doing everything correctly. Mm-hmm. But as your experts start critiquing what you did, you realize that there's a lot of room for improvement and why it's so crucial to have that uh, one-on-one training or that, uh, you know, that real-life scenario training because, you know, really, with the laws that we have today, it's important that you're that you're trained and uh, that you do things correctly. And of course, and as you're watching the video of your own uh, episode, you're telling, you're yelling at yourself, "Why are you doing that?" <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly where you. I, I sent it out to. Uh, I sent it out to the entire team of Liberty Safe and kind of questioned myself doing that because I'm like, man, do I want to really open it up to the mistakes that I made? But you know, that's that's how people learn. That's so, training. That, that's what it's about. You come training. away, you go, wow, there's a lot I need to, to work on. And that's probably the biggest benefit is walking away and going, okay, i got to get serious about this. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's good training. Um, and for those that don't, you know, if you're not able to get the training, having the first-person defender series, you know, on YouTube as a resource to look at and reference mm-hmm. and see what other people do and the feedback that they get is really invaluable. We get that whole, I never thought of that reaction from so many people. And that's what it's about. You go, okay, now you're going to think about it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, there's, there's so much, you know, things happen so fast and everything. It splits the sec, uh, split second decision making that takes mm-hmm. place. And it happens so fast that if you haven't played that out in your mind beforehand, uh, the chances that you'll make a mistake when it, you know, if something like that does happen, or it, it's, it's a lot higher. Well, and of course, I mean, to be fair, we always set it up so it's difficult first time around. We knew, you know, okay, this is going to really challenge you. And so we set it up that way. And then we make it where you can learn and you know do better the second time, which worked out great. Uh, by the way, speaking of uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you guys have some deals coming out here, don't you? Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of a uh, lot of great deals coming out um, it, on Black Friday. We've got a Revere 23. Uh, it's only eight ninety nine, and uh, then on Cy- Cyber Monday we have a Colonial fifty in textured granite, granite with E lock outlet kit and six one light kit for only seventeen ninety nine. Um, and, and even right now we've got all of our Fab Boys, including Fab Boys Extremes, on sale uh, going on right now. 
through uh, through the 27th. And we've also got uh, we were able to negotiate with First Mutual um, with our financing program. We're, we're offering 18 months interest free financing, so they, oh, they can come in. Yeah, it's, it's a huge deal. They can come in, upgrade to a bigger safe, a better mm-hmm. safe. Uh, and, and get and get it for eighteen months interest free or payments as low as uh, twenty dollars a month on approved credit. I'm looking at these deals right now, and you're looking at either three hundred or five hundred bucks off the the regular price, and you can have interest free mm-hmm. financing for eighteen months. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it, it's an incredible deal. We've seen. I, I mean, right now our website's going crazy. Uh, the orders that we have coming through on on our Fat Boy safes and the Fat Boy extremes and the Fat Boy Junior extremes, um, it's incredible. People are asking. You know, is the Revere 23 on sale now? And we, you know, we're responding, no, it's it's on Black Friday. Come back on Black Friday. But uh, <laughs> so people are, you know, they're really chomping at the bit to get these uh, get these kind of deals. And especially with the 18 months interest free, there's no reason why any home should not have a Liberty Safe. Yeah, I'm with you. The LibertySafe.com, by the way. By the way, we're also giving away stuff because you guys are helping us out there. So we're doing a uh, a giveaway with Gun Talk this month, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're giving away two of our. HDX 350s, uh, which are our brand new models. They're our largest handgun vault. They have a, a shelf inside with some uh, uh, a USB charging uh, port inside the uh, mm. inside the unit. Uh, the shelf comes out. You're able to put stuff on it. Very, it's a very cool biometric. Uh, uh, vault that we sell, it, it reads both ways, uh, front front and back, which is very cool. Another very cool feature. And then we're also giving away two of our uh, new, uh, they're soft shell cases. They're for quick uh, transportation. They're uh, they're approved in all 50 states. Uh, it's something that you can put your handgun in that's magnetic. It'll hold your handgun. You can zip it up. It's 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 about the size of a uh, of a of a notepad. Uh, mm-hmm. You can zip it up and lock it up and have, you know, discreet trans, uh, discreet carrier transportation of your handgun oh. without uh, without anyone knowing that you're carrying it around. They just think you have a, a binder. You're carrying a binder. Sure. And they have no idea that inside that binder you have your handgun. Well, we're giving away two of each of those, and all people have to do to, to enter for a chance to win is go to guntalk.com slash win, W-I-N. And we're doing that, uh, I guess the giveaway ends at the end of this month. That's very cool. Thank you guys for working with us on that. Oh, we, we love doing uh, giveaways with, with you guys. So, And we already see that right now you're getting a ton of entries, a uh, ton of action, a ton of talk on, on the giveaways. And we love, you know, it, it's part of, the, of us giving back to the community and really uh, creating some buzz and some uh, also, you know, some uh, awareness around the importance of uh, carrying concealed and, and having that protection when you need it. Talk to me for a minute. Uh, you may not be aware of this. We had a house fire back in June, and I was fortunate. I didn't lose any guns. Uh, it was restricted to just certain parts of the home. But it was one of those reminders uh, that people need to pay attention to making sure they have a safe that has a fire rating. Yes. Yeah. And, and good point you bring up. In fact, we just, if you go to our Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash Liberty Safe. Like us on Facebook. Uh, if you go to our Facebook page and look at our videos, we just released a video of a guy in California who's home, lost everything. I mean, everything in the Atlas fire. His, his He had a 69 Corvette burnt to a crisp. Oh, um, everything was lost. And, and the only things that survived were inside of his presidential state. Now, a presidential has a two and a half uh, hour fire rating. It's our mm-hmm. it has our highest fire package. And luckily, he had a presidential and thought long enough ahead to get that because inside of his presidential safe uh, were photographs from the eighteen. I mean, we're talking family history type of uh, and family heirlooms types mm-hmm. of things. Uh, pictures from the eighteen hundreds. Um, he, he had some other, you know, w- wedding rings and jewelry from his from his great grandmother, mm-hmm. and all of that survived inside of his presidential safe. Everything else, total loss. Wow, you know what? That's the whole story right there. It, it really is. Yeah, people, you know, uh, a safe is not just for your guns; it's for your any item that you can't easily replace. I mean, it could. It, in your case, it could be camera equipment, uh, video uh, equipment, um, again, family heirlooms, jewelry, prescription medication, uh, back to the firearms and guns. I mean, there's just so much that we have um, yeah. that, you know, if you if your house catches fire, what what's not being protected is, is going to be a loss. 
What do you do uh, if you have a fire and now your safe is basically burned on the outside mm-hmm. and if you can't get into it, how do you get into it? Well, that, a good, great question. Yeah, this guy that uh, was in California, he called us up. We sent out a locksmith, and uh, our locksmiths, through some uh, schematics that we send over to them, are able to get into these uh, safes after some, you know, through some drilling and some uh, different things that they have to do. They're able to get in, mm-hmm. and uh, once they get into the safe, I'm, I mean, in his case, uh, he submitted a uh, report to us, a fire report. Obviously, we had all the pictures and everything like that that he sent over to us, and uh, we. As soon as he has his new home built, he doesn't want it right now because he has no place to put it. Again, everything's gone. Mm-hmm. But as soon as his new home is built, we'll uh, replace his safe. We'll actually th- – this is what makes us different, Tom, and, and really sets us apart. We'll pay for the removal and the extraction of his old safe and the delivery and installation of his new safe. So we cover the entire thing. We want it to be as painless and as seamless as possible when any of our customers – uh, you know, they go through a fire or they have an attempted break in or something like mm-hmm. that, that the safe is damaged. Um, th- they've been through enough. We want to make sure that we have them covered past that and that we, we take care of uh, the least we can do is take care of the full coverage of that safe. Well, it's one of the reasons we love working with you guys. You're, you know, it's a great company. You've got that great ethic. We love you know, that. And, and obviously, you have wonderful products. I mean, I sort of personally have uh, Liberty Safe. Well, very cool stuff. So you got sales going on now, and then on uh, Friday for uh, Black Friday, we all got to check the website and see what's cooking there. Yeah, yeah. Come back on Black Friday. Um, again, we're going to have uh, other sales on Cyber Monday, and even in December, we're having more sales. So keep checking back. Keep checking back on our Facebook page. We announce everything to our Facebook page, and uh, really excited about uh, the deals that we have coming out. We're, we're trying to, you know, make it as easy as we can on people's pocketbooks, especially during the holidays. Provide that 18 months interest-free financing so that they can really get into the safe that they want with low monthly payments, and uh, really make it as seamless and easy as possible to get a Liberty Safe into your home and get your items protected. Thank you so much, Kyle. Appreciate it, and a happy Thanksgiving. Hi, uh, you too, Tom. Thanks for the co- time. All right, take care. Who does that? Who, who says? Yeah, if it gets damaged, the break breaks in. You got to you know, they tore it up, or you got a fire. That we'll, we'll come pick it up. We'll haul it off. We'll get you a new one. We'll bring it in. We'll put it where you want it uh, at no cost to you. Nobody does that. that, that that's just amazing. Eight six six Talk Gun. I'm Tom Gresham. Be right back with Gun Talk. Behind every revolution is a patriot. Just as this great country was founded on the ideals of many, the new Mossberg Patriot is the sum of all that came before it. Reliable. Timeless. Built to last. The classic American hunting rifle with a heritage forged over generations has come home. Mossberg. Built rugged. Proudly American. Since 1937, Ducks Unlimited has led the charge on wetlands and waterfowl conservation. Wetlands reduce the effects of flooding and recharge our drinking water. But perhaps most importantly, they allow us to experience what makes the outdoors so great. Band together to rescue our wetlands. If you carry a gun, you need training. Your concealed carry class was definitely not training. But time, money, and obligations keep you from spending days at a shooting school. The trusted folks at Gun Talk can help. Concealed Carry One, our DVD featuring the Vata Group, covers what gun, what holster, how to carry, where to wear your gun, and much more. Visit ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. Look. This really is life and death. Learn how to stay aware, how to get away, and how to fight if you must. At ShopGunTalk.com, you can get the two DVD set, including Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. No matter what gun you carry, this vital training info can save your life. Learn the draw, the stance, reloading, vital gear from Gun Talk. That's ShopGunTalk.com. ShopGunTalk.com. In the war on terror, fighting crime in the streets, in competition, and homes around the world, one name in firearms stands out, Sig Sauer. 
Our pistols and rifles are renowned for their unfailing performance. This same commitment to excellence can be found in our line of SIGTAC accessories and the training offered by the SIG Sauer Academy. For unmatched quality, reliability, and innovation when it counts, choose SIG Sauer. Visit SIGSauer.com today. What's important in a gun safe? Security, reliability, safety, good looks? It all comes down to quality. Quality that's built in from the beginning. Liberty Safe has made quality products for 29 years right here in the USA. Trust your guns, your valuables, and your safety to Liberty Safe. Did you ever regret buying quality? I didn't think so. Get the best. Whatever your budget, get a Liberty Safe. LibertySafe.com. All right, back with you here. Let's see. Oh, uh, we had a call from Larry uh, in Russell, Kansas. He uh, helped our guy with the Benelli Super Black Eagle. He said, look, for that one, if it's not ejecting, he said the chamber may need to be polished. He says the chamber is smaller than the barrel. 99% of the time, he said, uh, polishing the chamber fixes the problem. See, that's what I, I love. We get help from everybody out there. All right, Joel's on line two out of Anchorage, Alaska. What are you looking at buying here, Joel? Joel, uh, Tom, I'm looking at a Browning Superpose 12 gauge with full chokes on both barrels. Nice. Gun was probably made in the late 50s, possibly early 60s. Mm-hmm. I've been told I cannot use the gun with steel shot. And so I'm open to suggestions. There's two shotgun ranges here in the city. One allows uh, lead and one allows, is only, allows only steel. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, steel shot is actually made of soft iron. It does not compress, or the the shot load is tougher, if you will, when it goes through the barrel. And full choke, you've got more constriction out at the end of the barrel. And the thing that makes Browning superposed so delightful is the very thin metal in the barrels. It gives it that wonderful balance, that wonderful feel. But as a result of that, you also cannot... Repeat cannot shoot steel shot through them because you will end up with a ring or possibly even really damage the barrels. Uh, it's a great shotgun. I mean, boy, if you could shoot lead through it, it'd be great. If you could shoot bismuth through it, if you were just hunting, you could do that and not you could avoid the problem. But if you must shoot steel, then you need a different gun. It really is as simple as that. Is bismuth, uh, bismuth uh, material approved for waterfowl? Yes, it is. Uh, And Cabela's has it. If you look uh, in the Cabela's uh, catalog or online, they have bismuth. Okay. Uh, I'll have to make up my mind what I'll do before I buy this. Yeah, I I love the Super Post. I just think I'm not sure they yet have an over and under that has the balance of those Super Post. It's so wonderful. Uh, and I know you're you're torn because you're thinking, man, it's a great gun. Uh, it's a fabulous Browning superposed Belgian made, but I can't shoot steel in it, and you can't. Uh, but yeah, if you're only going to be shooting waterfowl occasionally, I would sure look really hard at the bismuth. It's safe to shoot in there. The stuff is expensive, but you know it's going to be a buck and a half a round. But say you go shoot 50 rounds for, for ducks, okay. But you, but you did it in a really cool shotgun. So I wish you luck with it. I, other than that, I really, I'm really, i not sure I could help you with that one. Uh, 866-TALK-GUN. Kevin's with us on line three out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Kevin, you're on Gun Talk. Hey, Tom. Uh, listen, I started out, uh, I got a concealed carry permit. I, I went through Florida, uh, the non-resident Florida, mm-hmm. and then uh, Louisiana stopped recognizing it. So Correct. I got a Louisiana concealed carry permit. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, uh, you've got to renew it, and it costs the same amount of money. You've got to do all the fingerprinting. You've got to do all the uh, same thing as if you were doing it for the first time. It's not like a driver's license where you just write out a check, send it in, and they send you a renewed license. Right. And uh, so I thought, well, you know, they just passed this uh, lifetime license. Right. Well, that's great if you want to pay 500 bucks. And a lifetime license also will not qualify you for skipping the uh, NICS background check when you buy a gun. Only you have to have the five-year license for that. Uh-huh. 
so you know it, it uh, fortunately uh, i suppose i uh, i just uh, i'm 65 now and the price goes down to i think 250 but it just seems to me that uh, uh, they're not making it as easy to renew your concealed carry permit as they are renewing your driver's license and you know they can check police records and determine if you've had any kind of problems. I mean, do you really need to get fingerprinted again? My well, fingerprints don't change. And they don't need to check your entire life. They did that the first time. All they need to do is find out did anything happen in the last four or five years. You you know what you touched on what's really going on when you said Louisiana they used to honor the Florida permit, but then they said no 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 if you're a Louisiana resident. We're no longer going to honor a non-resident Florida permit. Now, if you have a non-resident Florida permit from another state and you live in another state, Louisiana will honor that. But not if you live in Louisiana. Why is that? Because they want the money. And that's why the renewal rates are so high, because the state police want the money. That's what's going on. Well, you know, and it's not so much the money. It's just the doggone inconvenience of having to go through the same thing Mm -hmm. as if you were getting your concealed carry permit for the first time. And, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, you know you, I'll, have, I'll do it, but, uh, you know, it just, they're not very friendly. Have you ever heard of the Louisiana Shooting Association? Uh, no. Most people in Louisiana have not, unfortunately. It is the group that probably is the, the major group that gets laws passed in the legislature, good laws passed. Uh, I would suggest getting involved on the Louisiana Shooting Association, and I'm going to speak to the president because I think we need to see what we can do about that. The problem, of course, is that anytime we want to get something done in the legislature to change it, the state police come and testify, no, 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 we need that because for safety. We need that for officer safety. We need that for this and that. You know, and it's just a money grab. That's all it is. So, um, But when the legislature sees someone from the state police up there in uniform testifying and saying, you know, the police need this. They're pretty, it's pretty difficult to get them to go against the police. However, if we had a couple of hundred of us in the meeting room, hmm, that might change a few things. But, you know, for that to happen, people got to get involved. They have to join. They have to spend a little money on the organization. Whether it's Louisiana or whatever your state is, be involved in your state organization. Find out who actually goes to the legislature and gets things done. That's the group you want to offer your time and your money to. Sign up for our Gun Talk newsletter and join the Truth Squad at www.guntalk.com. Now, back to Gun Talk with Washington Times opinion page regular contributor Tom Gresham. All right, back with you. Tom Gresham here. You know, of course, we talk about safety a lot around here. Using guns safely, storing guns safely, how to carry guns safely, how to practice with them safely, how to speak up when someone's not safe at the range. And safety actually extends way beyond guns. Uh, Fire extinguishers we've talked about a lot because I had that fire and my wife was standing right there right next to a fire extinguisher. She, She did not know how to use a fire extinguisher. If you Please make sure that you have fire extinguishers, and number two, that everybody in your home knows where they are and knows how to use them. Do not assume, okay? We would not be going through this seven, eight, whatever, nine-month process if she had just picked up the fire extinguisher and put out the fire, but there you go. Uh, Among the other things we do, as part of the whole security system, is we have cameras at our house. In fact, uh, the folks from Blink, uh, we've been working with them, that there's little bitty cameras they're just smaller things and video cameras and still cameras. And you can look at the images from them and the video live on your phone from anywhere. And you can actually set them up and it's really, really easy, like stupid easy. Uh, you can set it up so they'll send you a notification if they have uh, motion, motion detection systems. Uh, and yes, it's really good for finding out if somebody is like taking the packages from in front of your house or somebody is messing around your house. But there's something else it does. And and it may not be security, but it's fun for me, is we live in an area that's it's suburban, but like a lot of places, there are critters that are walking around. And I love being able to see deer out there or raccoons or whatever's out there and get an alert. Hey, turn it on and see what's out in the backyard. And for me, that's, I don't know, that's just fun. 
And you know, maybe a bad guy, but this way you can check it from anywhere. Uh, little bitty blink cameras, they work off of your internet connection and they're just, they're really easy. I mean, I, like I say, if I can do it, anybody can. Anyway, they got a special deal for us here. Uh, the blink guys, they say that they are, uh, you can get three of their blink cameras for what the other guys charge for one. And you get an extra, here's the very cool part. You get an extra 10% off with the gun talk code. So you go to blinkprotect.com slash gun talk. Again, blink, blink protect.com slash gun talk. When you get there, you got to put in the word gun talk, one word, upper or lowercase, doesn't matter, into the discount field. And then when you check out, you'll get the 10% off. So be sure to use the one word gun talk. That's blinkprotect.com slash gun talk. Okay, let's go to uh, line one. I want to talk to Charlie in Bremerton, uh, Washington. Sounds like an interesting thing. Talking about local gun stores, Charlie. Yep, Tom, it's a vanishing national resource. It, uh, the, the local gun shop run by somebody that likes guns more than they love money is, is something that's disappearing with the big box stores. A uh, quick story for you. My uncle mm-hmm. in Nashville, Tennessee, passed away about a year ago. And uh, as these things go, family took some time clearing things out. They are not gun people at all, never mm-hmm. touched guns. In the back of my uncle's closet, they found an old twenty two and a handgun of indeterminate origin. Mm-hmm. Um, they know I'm a gun guy, um, but I'm up here in Washington State. They didn't know what to do, and they took uh, both the rifle and the handgun to a shop in Nashville, uh, Shooters, Guns, and Ammunition, run by a guy by the name of J.R. J.R. took a look at them, said both of them were made before World War II, uh, J.R. Higgins, single-shot twenty two, and just a little blowback twenty five semi-automatic. I mm-hmm. happen to have a Curo and Relics license. He uh, put them in a box and shipped them to me. All he did was charge, ask to be reimbursed. He got nothing out of it. Um, my family in Nashville are not going to be patronizing the store. I'm obviously not going to go to uh, Tennessee to buy stuff. So he just did it for the sheer love of it. Well, let's and, give out uh, the name of the shop again, Biz. Give him a shout out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's uh, Shooters, Guns, and Ammo, uh, Murfreesboro Road in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, guy's <laughs> name is J.R. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I remember Jim Clark, uh, who passed on a couple of years ago, but uh, Jim Jr. And story told about, yeah, well, people don't know this about Jim, but uh, he bought some guns from a lady whose husband died. And he actually did this with me, too, I'll tell you. Um, and when he sold them, he got more for them than he thought he was going to get. And he went and found the lady and gave her more money than he originally paid. When my dad died, uh, I called Jim, and he went and picked up a bunch of ammo that we had, and he took it and sold it. And every time I would see him, he would say, hey, I, I owe you some money. I said, no, you already paid me for that. He says, no, he says, I was able to get a little bit more for that than I thought I was going to. Now, he had no obligation whatsoever to do that. Tell me a big box store who's going to do what he did or what this outfit in Nashville did. Uh, that, that's just what local gun stores do. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, we got to support them, Tom. Can't just uh, keep going to uh, the, the big chains and getting stuff. Go, you know, go to your local store, buy something, even if it's just a box of ammunition. Well, you yeah, know, and I know, and, and Jim's saying it in my ear. He says, "Yeah, but people want to save five bucks." Yeah, I know, I, I get that, but at the same time, holy cow! You know, all right, I'm going to go on a rant here. Look, I appreciate the call because it lets me go on a rant. Every gun store out there has seen this happen. I get emails from a, a friend of mine who's in a gun store. He said, "Yeah, it happened again." Guy comes in. Wants to see the gun. We spend 20 or 30 minutes with him going over all the fine details. He comes in later with the gun and wants us to explain something to him. And he went and bought it from a big box store. He, he used up our time, our resources, our information, our people to research it. And then went and bought it cheaper at a big box store. Then had the gall to come back and say, well, how do you do this thing? At which point you just want to say, you know what? I think you need to go ask the guys at XYZ Big Box Store where you bought it. Well, they don't know anything. Yeah, you're right. I, uh, that makes me crazy. Makes me crazy. Mark's in Billings, Montana on line four. Hey, Mark. Hey, Tom. Um, uh, I don't know if you remember, but back in, I think it was June, I'd called and asked, you know, what I could expect to get from your concealed carry videos because I didn't think I was going to be in a position to to be able to afford to go to, a, you know, a self-defense school. Right. And then you were, you were kind enough to send me uh, concealed carry one and two and the fighting with the 1911. 
but you wanted me to call you back in a couple of weeks, but uh, our schedules haven't quite matched up, okay. so I'm a few months. I'm a few months late, but so okay. I, so I, what do you think? I, I sent you our our free our DVDs for free to you. Were they worth what you paid for them? Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ab- absolutely. I, I, you know, it was kind of like what you what you say when you go to a class. You start to realize how much you don't know. Mm-hmm. And how difficult some of these things are that you have in your mind. I, I mean, I've been around guns my whole life and uh, was in law enforcement for a while and have had a concealed carry permit for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you have things in your mind. You think, oh, I can do that, I can do that, and I can do that. But then you start actually trying to do some of the things they tell you to do, and it's like, whoa, that's not near as <laughs> well, how easy I thought yeah, that was going to be. There's more to this than I thought. Yeah, so... Uh, it, it was very good, uh, you know, the, the mindset. I hadn't really thought about the mindset that they talk about. And, mm-hmm. and you're, you know, they were absolutely right. If you're, gonna, if you're in that situation, you can't, you can't be uh, doubting yourself. You can't be wishy-washy. You need to know what to do and know that you can do it. And the, the best thing out of this deal for me was that uh, my boy was 12 when we got him. But mm-hmm. we go out to the range and... And he's like, "Oh, Dad, remember we got to do, we got to try this." Or, "Dad, remember you got to, this uh-huh. is what we're supposed to do with this." And uh-huh. Uh-huh. so that's just it's really exciting for me to go out there with my 13 year old. He remembers these things, and we're we're able to go and work on some things. And but unfortunately, it just makes me realize how bad I need to go to. That's okay. Defense. You, you, hey, work on what you can work on and keep looking at those DVDs. And then when you can, get yourself to a good class. I very much appreciate you taking the time, Mark, to come back and tell us what you thought of them. I, I knew you were going to like them. I knew they were going to be worthwhile. And I appreciate you uh, following through on that. I got a scoot here. By the way, if you like uh, these DVDs, we've got them on our website, shopguntalk.com. Again, shopguntalk.com. Uh, you can usually get some deals on those through the Gun Dealio app. It's a free app to put on your phone. It's our app, Gun Dealio. Just uh, put that on your phone, and there's almost always a deal available there. So check it out, shopguntalk.com. Our number, 866-TALK-GUN. This is Gun Talk. The Black Hills. There's nothing like it on Earth. The kind of place where characters become legends. Wild Bill Hickok, Crazy Horse, Calamity Jane. Pick any part of the world and you'll find people go there to make it their own. But this is where people come to get made. This is the place that made the people who make the best ammo on earth. Black Hills Ammunition. Every crossbreed holster is handmade based on the design invented by our founder. A Kydex pocket molded around your gun for perfect retention. Leather backing for comfort. Specially designed clips allow you to tuck in your shirt for complete concealment. The highest quality mag carriers and belts sturdy enough to hold any gun. Our holsters come with a lifetime warranty and two-week try-it-free guarantee. Crossbreed. Conceal and carry the cross. Crossbreedholsters.com. The Springfield Armory SOCOM 16 CQB is a serious package of 308 firepower with a long military background. 10 inches shorter than the standard M1A with a standard 10-round or the optional 20-round magazine, it's a thunderous close-quarters battle rifle that stops, fights, fast. Ghost ring rear and tritium front sights with a five-position adjustable cheek piece, the SOCOM 16 CQB is ready for anything. Springfield-Armory.com Hi, this is Tom Gresham from Gun Talk. America is losing critical wildlife habitat at a rate of one football field every hour. It's happening on the Louisiana coast, but it's critical to all sportsmen and conservationists. These precious wetlands provide winter habitat for more than 10 million ducks and geese annually. Waterfowl that migrate north through dozens of states. Don't shrug it off. Get involved. You can help. Visit vanishingparadise.org. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at 
wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org. Gun Industry Silences Message of Suicide Prevention. It's in the San Francisco Chronicle. It's the biggest bunch of BS I've seen in a long time. Um, but it sounds like he knows what he's talking about. He's a good writer. Uh, he says that the National Shooting Sports Foundation combined with a suicide prevention group to help prevent or slow down or in, in any way they can reduce the number of suicides with firearms. One would think that's a good thing, but no, 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 no. Because when gun makers get involved in trying to reduce deaths with guns, that's a bad thing because they must have ulterior motives. And so he's saying that they're shutting down the research on this. That's nonsense, of course. Uh, let me just give you two numbers, okay? If, if the premise, of course, of the gun ban, folks, is that if you could get rid of guns, you could reduce suicides, except they don't say it that way. They say the most obvious, stupid thing ever. You, if Wherever there are guns, you have more gun suicides. Really? No kidding? Seriously? That's like saying wherever there are trucks, you have more truck accidents. And if there are no trucks, you won't have any truck accidents. Doesn't mean you're not going to have accidents, just not truck accidents. In this case, yes, if you were to get rid of guns, you wouldn't have gun suicides. But the number of suicides would not go down. Well, how can you say that, Tom? Well, it's real easy. We have the data. Japan has essentially no guns. Very difficult to have a gun in Japan. The U.S. has millions, maybe three million, maybe more than that guns. The suicide rate, I'm just going to give you two numbers, so hold on to these okay, in your head. The suicide rate in the United States is 12.6 per 100,000. 12.6 per 100,000 suicides. In Japan, where they have no guns, The suicide rate is 28.2, more than twice as high. So clearly, the concept of not having guns as a way of reducing suicides is a failure. It doesn't work. It doesn't prevent them from pushing this, and they do it in the most dishonest of ways. They talk about gun suicides. I'm not sure anybody cares how a loved one killed himself or herself. It's a mental health issue, and we all need to get involved in it. And, in fact, the Second Amendment uh, Foundation has been working with a group in Seattle very effectively to work on the whole idea of when you've identified somebody as being suicidal, let's work on getting the guns away from them. Yeah, that would be gun owners and gun groups telling people, we need to get the guns away from somebody who you know to be suicidal. Gee, that would be responsible. Yeah, that's us. Makes me crazy. Okay. Uh, Line two, Don's with us out of Lewiston, Idaho. Don, what guns you get there? Yeah, listen to you earlier. You had to fell a switch working it, going from uh, from revolvers to the semis, mm-hmm. and kind of wanting a hammer. I was gonna t- kind of tell him to look at that little Sig two ninety. It's a hammer gun. It's double action only, so trigger pulls identical to a revolver. And it's a really good little PC equipment. It is. And it's a double action only trigger pull, so that every pull is the same. Now, if he's trying to get, and I appreciate the call, if you want a, a SIG, but you want a lighter trigger pull than the double action only, then take a look at the SIG 938. That is almost like a mini 1911. It has a much lighter single action trigger pull with a thumb safety and a hammer gun. Now, they are more expensive, but as Michelle offers, she says, don't be afraid of used guns. Used guns represent a really good value in most cases. So take a look at that, see if you can uh, poke around. It all comes down to personal preference. Do I want a single action only? Do I want a double action only pull? Do I want a double action single action pull? And if you don't know the differences, then get educated on it because that will help you get a gun that works for you or for your wife or whoever it is you're helping to buy a gun. There's a lot to know, but there are an awful lot of people out there who will help you, including me.
All right, let's go uh, gun geeky here. Neil's in Fargo, North Dakota on three. We're, uh, we're going totally geek now, Neil. What are you doing? Well, I came up with an idea about six years ago to um, to make the AR-15 or AR-10 platform cycle without gas rings. And the way I did it was to take the area where the gas rings were to make that area bigger and then machined it to a slip fit back into the bolt carrier. Right. And, then, and it, cycles, it cycles just fine. Really? And, and you did that yourself? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, huh. I've been shooting com- competitively for some 30 years, and uh, when I switched to the AR-10 rifle, mm-hmm. I would have high shots that I didn't call at 600 yards. And then I came up with this idea, and it made the action very smooth and more consistent when the bolt unlocks from shot to shot. And from that point on, it, you know, I've been able to score um, like 80% of my shots fired for record within the six oh, inch yeah. of the X ring at 600 yards. Huh. That's pretty cool. I, I had not heard of that, but that's pretty sweet. Neil, I appreciate that. I've got a couple I need, need to try to get in here. Line one, Josh is with us out of Elmore, Ohio. Hey, Josh, what are you looking for? Yeah, I had a couple questions. I know Christmas is coming up, and uh, I was kind of thinking about getting a couple tourniquets, maybe one for carry and maybe a couple for uh, a car truck bag. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you recommend, or is there a website I could go to that would have um, – ideas about what type to carry or if there's a difference between something you would keep in a truck and something you would carry? No, I'd probably use the same thing for all of those. But uh, if you do a, uh, a Internet search for a trauma tourniquet, and I think that's going to be the key is trauma tourniquet, you'll find a lot of uh, links. I just popped that up. I found the cat uh, tourniquet and let's see, combat tour- combat tourniquet.com. Uh, now, we're talking about just tourniquets here, not talking about med kits or anything else. Uh, and they're very small. And But if you just start doing a little bit of uh, searching, you will find a number of places to get them and different styles, different types. The main thing is to get one and know how to use it. Uh, the knowing how to use it is the other part. It's kind of like a gun. You don't just get one. You need to know what you're doing with it. But I applaud you for thinking about this. Having, I have two in my car, uh, and sometimes I carry one on my person, not all the time. But I always have at least two in my vehicle and uh, always have one at the range when we're out there. If somebody decides to blow a hole in their leg or something doing fast draw, uh, we might need it. And to be able to stop the blood can save a life. So congratulations. Good for you guys. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Do we have time, Jim, for another one? All right. Line three. Michael's in Texas. Hey, Michael, you're up. Hey, howdy. How y'all doing? Uh, Michael from Texas, South yes, Texas. Sir. Uh, my, I know you are getting close. So I'm going to get uh, to the chase here. Um, am I legally able to carry a firearm in church in Texas? I don't live in Texas. I don't know. Okay, do you I live didn't know in, to do the law. Do yes, you sir. live in Texas? Yes, sir, do, I do. Do you have a carry permit? Yes, sir, I do. Didn't they cover that in class? Uh, they did, but I took it many years ago, and I've heard different types of uh, information. So. <laughs> okay, do a little do a little search, and uh, if I had more time, we're right up against it right now. Uh, I just don't know what the current law is in Texas. Uh, it varies state by state, so I can't help you out on that. But if you do a little searching, we'll, we'll, and tell you what, we'll look into that. If somebody knows, give me a call right now. We'll get you into the after show. We'll cover that also. After show uh, is available to you right now if you want to call us, 866-TALK-GUN. If you want to listen to the after show, people keep saying, how do I find it? Well, it's real easy. You use your Gun Dealio app on your phone, and you can listen to the after show. You can also do it through any kind of podcast uh, app that you have. Or you can go to our website. Or you know what might be easiest? It's just go on our YouTube channel. Look for Gun Talk Media on YouTube. And we put the podcast up there and all the shows as well. So if you miss one, you can find it. In the meantime, be safe out there. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family.